Hey everybody, Jason Edwards here from Trendify, and today we are going to cover the Go High Level Funnel Builder and all the reasons why I love using it. Now, I'm coming from a background of many, many years using ClickFunnels, and I loved building funnels on ClickFunnels and how easy it was to get something up and on the internet and ready to make sales. But I found that the Funnel Builder inside of Go High Level has been just as easy to use. And more importantly for my business, if you know anything about my background, is I like to start a lot of crazy different businesses. So High Level allows me to pay one low monthly fee and have unlimited dashboards. I can have a business about pickleball and I can have a business about real estate and I can have another business and another business all unrelated and have my own dashboards, my own funnels, my own payment processing, everything. Also on top of that, with the high level white label program, I'm able to sell this as my own software. Okay, so I can not only uh, use this for my own businesses, but I can sell this as my own Trendify Pro software or whatever you wanna call your own software and you can offer whatever features you want. I've covered many of the features on other trainings, but today I'm going to talk about the Funnel Builder because I know that uh, ClickFunnels is moving over to the 2.0 version and that has been a little bit slower process than expected. I'm sure they'll get the kinks worked out but regardless, if you are kind of in the interim where you're deciding, should I upgrade to 2.0 on ClickFunnels or should I use some other funnel builder like a lead pages or something, or should I look at high level? I just want you to see how you can actually create funnels on here. So we're inside of one of my dashboards here, and I'm just going to click new funnel and show you just some templates here. And then I'll show you how to actually use the editor. So we go to go to template library. And you can see there are a ton of templates in here. I believe there's several hundred uh, templates. So let me just find one example to pull from. I've never seen this one, so let's try it. Let's look at this. So you can hit the little eyeball and it will give you kind of a preview of it. And again, if you've seen uh, previous trainings, it's kind of a shrunken down version, like what would show up on an iPad, but all of this can be changed, font sizes and stuff. So just gives you an overall look of what it might look like. Looks pretty nice. We're just going to open this up. We're going to continue and I'll just show you a little bit about editing it and then we'll get into one that I actually use in my own business. So once we select that, I'm just going to refresh and see where that pulls up here. Okay. And after we refreshed, here it is, this digital marketing template. So I'm going to tap that and get in here and just show you around a little bit. So we hit um, a couple things you can do. Obviously, if you've used ClickFunnels before or some other uh, drag and drop funnel builder, there's split testing built in, so you can add variations and test your different funnels. Uh, I typically don't do that that often unless it's something I'm running traffic to. I may make small tweaks, but I don't really do a lot of split tests, but you can do it in here. So we're just going to hit edit here. Okay, so now we are getting on to the landing page, and I'm just going to play around a little bit with the editor. You'll notice it's very similar to ClickFunnels if you've ever used that before. There's, a, there's different colors. The, deciding if it's a section or a row or a column, um, but same kind of stuff. So you can you can go in here and uh, change this to whatever you want to do. She can shrink down the, the font size. You can edit the mobile view or the desktop view and change the font size depending on which one that is. So this is the mobile font. So anything that you can do in ClickFunnels as far as design, I found that you can do in here with no problem. It's very easy to use and they have a lot of really cool templates that don't look so internet markety. Uh, now, if you're using something for a dentist or a plumber or something, there's gonna be some really nice ones you can use in here too. And uh, you can swap out the logos, all that stuff. They have an editor up here that you can have different font uh, sizes and the H1, H2 tags, if you know what that is. Um, then let's see over here, you can obviously change fonts. You can, where is that down here? And that they don't not only have like Google fonts, but they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fonts to choose from. So you can pick anything you want there. So, um, that is really cool. One also mm -hmm. thing that I like to have is that they have built in video hosting. So Oftentimes with other editors, if I wanted to add a video here, um, let me just do a full width. This is not going to be the actual design here, but say I wanted to add a video element here. I have a video here 
And with other players, oftentimes you have to get your video hosted on YouTube or Vimeo or some other service like Wistia or something. This actually, they will host your videos for you. So let me find where that is. Oh, here we go. So you can do YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia or custom embed, but you can also do this hosted video. And then it will pull up what I've already uploaded into my library, or I can pull something up. Um, here's just a marketing video I did before. You can select the thumbnail, hit save. Uh, you can also do the SEO metadata and all that stuff so that you have a preview when you're sharing the link on social media. It can actually show an image of whatever you want it to share. Uh, so that's really cool. Okay, and uh, now that we have the video here, we can go ahead and preview and see how it looks. Obviously, this is not going to be the ultimate design uh, because that video is not for this funnel, but I just want to show you how it works here. Okay, and now we have the video here and it auto plays if we want it to. Um, so that works perfectly. And I think it's a great uh, funnel builder and funnel editor if you've ever used any other platform, like I said, ClickFunnels or things like that. But there are a few more small tweaks that I think make it really easy to use. Number one, if you're building an actual funnel, like a landing page, then a thank you page, then maybe a, a place for somebody to book on your calendar and those types of things. Um, it becomes frustrating when you have to like go back into the main dashboard and then find the funnel and all that stuff. So what this does is it allows you to, if you tap this little button in the top right, you can select between the different pages that you want to edit. So we have a home, we have an appointment, we have a thank you. Okay, and here we are on the thank you page. And obviously I would change some colors if you wanted to change this uh, to a different color or whatever you want to do. Um, but it's just a really simple, easy to use funnel builder. If you've ever used anything else that designs funnels, I think this stands up with all of them. So we'll save this. We'll go back again. You can change the SEO metadata here. Um, we'll go back to the main screen and then I'll show you a funnel that I'm actually using in, um, my business right now. And you can see how I've designed that. And this one is something that many of you may have already seen. It's my free SaaS class opt-in page. So if you have uh, interest in signing up with High Level and getting a free 30-day trial with my link, I'll show you down below. You can go to freesasclass.com. There's a link down below and you'll land on this particular page. And I'll show you how all of this works here. Okay, so when you land on this page, it'll say how to launch your own wildly profitable SaaS company without knowing how to code or create any software. And then you just tap this button, get free SaaS class. Now there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can see the little wiggle here with the button, which I kind of like to do on some of my, my funnels. Uh, you can have links, clickable links here. Um, and then also when you click this button, you'll notice there isn't an opt-in on here, but you could have this pop up. And then we have a form built in here that once you fill that out, then you go to the thank you page, which we'll show you on the next screen which is this page. Okay, so here is the thank you page. You are in, I just emailed you access to the course. Next step, join our free Facebook uh, community. And you can click this button, it'll take you right over to the Facebook group. So that is the funnel that I'm using right now for my free SaaS class, which I just am building out to walk you through step-by-step step how to create your own software company using high level and white labeling their software. I think it's a great tool, but uh, I'm going to show you one more thing that I think is really awesome. The whole point of having a software and having SaaS is not only to run my own multiple businesses, but also to offer it for sale to other clients. And what I like about this particular funnel builder and just high level in general is that you can see I can clone this funnel step. I can obviously clone it right here in this funnel. So we'll do that. You'll see how quickly that comes up here. I can drag them around and reorder them, whatever I want to do. But more importantly, if I wanted to clone this funnel step, I can now clone it to any of my clients' accounts. I can select up to 25 other funnels. Uh, so the way that this works is if you have clients that you're trying to um, keep on board, or maybe you created something for one client that's working really well. Maybe it's a real estate agent and you've developed some landing page that is just crushing it. Then all you have to do is copy that over to all of the other real estate agents in this case that are using your software and they now have the same funnel. So you don't have to do share links and all that stuff. I can literally just clone funnel step, drop it into Bob Tester's account, which funnel, if I had a funnel list here, it would, it would show there. And then I would just add it to his account. 
So that makes it super simple to use, not only for yourself, but for your clients. And again, I think this is one of the best funnel builders out there. If you've used ClickFunnels or anything like that, obviously they have a 2.0 version that's coming out that I haven't really messed around too much with because I love this one so much. But I think it does everything that I need it to do for my own businesses and for my clients. And uh, I think you'll find the same thing too. So if you want to get more information about getting a free 30-day trial to test this out for yourself, see if you can get some clients using the free SaaS class that I am going to give you, then just click the link down below. You'll get a free 30-day trial instead of a 14-day trial. And you will also get access to our Facebook group and the free SaaS class that I have. So hopefully that's a value to you. Hopefully you are excited about this opportunity and I'll talk to you again on the next video. Bye.